Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you have entered purchases through the Purchases Receive Inventory window, you can select Tasks from the menu bar, roll down to Select for Payment, and then choose the Paper Checks command in order to use the Select for Payment window to pay multiple vendor bills. Note that if using Peachtree 2003 through 2006, this command is Tasks from the menu bar and then the Select for Payment command. Now when you select this option, the Select for Payment filter selection window appears first. You can use this window to select the invoice and vendor filter criteria used to select the invoices to pay. In the Select for Payment filter selection window, you enter the date for the check into the Check Date field. You can then choose to filter for invoices due before a certain date by typing that date into the Invoices Due Before field, or you could choose to filter for invoices by entering a discount date into the Or Discounts Lost By field. You can set additional filter criteria in the Include Invoices section. You can set it to include all invoices or only invoices. If you select only invoices, you will need to type in the number of days past the due date with balances over whatever dollar amount you then enter. You could also filter by vendor and either select all vendors or vendors that are from a point in the vendor list to another point in the vendor list. You would just have to fill in the vendor IDs in the from and to fields. You could also select only vendors that match a specific vendor type if you type the desired vendor type into the type mask field. You can also check the checkbox for always take discounts regardless of due date to always calculate and take the discount for the invoice even if the due date is passed. Now when you're done, simply click OK and that will bring up the Select for Payment window which shows you the bills that you have entered that match the selection criteria you input. Now once you've entered your criteria in the Select for Payment filter selection window and clicked OK, the Select for Payment window appears, showing all outstanding invoices, credit memos, and prepayments that match the filtering criteria. It also automatically selects all entries for payment. Just click the Pay Check box for any that you don't want to pay, as each bill is set to be marked as paid by default. You can mark all the entries shown to be paid or unpaid by clicking either the Check All or clear all buttons in the toolbar at the top of the window if that is easier. Also, each vendor will be issued a single check no matter how many invoices are being paid. Once you've selected the invoices to pay, make sure that the information at the top of this window is correct. When you're ready to print the checks, simply click the print button to print the checks to the selected vendors. Starting in Peachtree 2006, you can also send payments electronically with the new Peachtree Bill Pay service. This service allows you to instantly send payments directly to your vendors without the need to use paper checks, envelopes, or stamps. Now to set up this feature, or to access it if it is already set up, select Tasks from the menu bar, roll down to Select for Payment, and then choose the Electronic Payments command. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.